Okay, so uh, how do we avoid failure? That's our topic today. And it's an important topic because a lot of people deal with it. It's one level or another. Oh, yeah. I don't want to fail. I don't want to fail. You know, I've got to succeed. And and it weighs on us. It costs us in our life and, and so on. But it's it's really kind of important to get beyond. And we got to start with the definition of what failure is. Now, if I asked a thousand people what failure really means, I'm, I'm going to get some widely different answers because they're going to bring in, you know, their own definition of it. And that's going to come from their culture, their parents, the books they read, the teachers they've had, the movies they've seen, and, and so on, all of which is different for everybody. So everyone has a little different definition of what success or failure you know, would be. So we got to get to the definition. Now, um, if you try to, this is common sense, by the way, if you try to meet the expectations of everyone and hence avoid failure in that way, you are going to fail. Okay. <laughs> there, there is no way to take any topic, anything you want to succeed at, and in the eyes of everyone, succeed. You are going to fail in the eyes of a whole lot of people. Okay. Let me give you an example. EFT is a great example of that. Now, you might want to say, well, EFT, it's known worldwide and lots of people follow it. And in fact, there's millions that follow it. And, and it's been translated into 20 something languages. And, oh, successful, successful. Now, I can assure you, sitting in this chair, that there are people who say, you do what? You tap someplace, you call on an unseen therapist, and that's going to take care of some really important issue. That's going to be efficient. Uh, you know, you're doing an end run maybe around medicine or psychiatry or, or uh, you know, hypnotherapy or any of these other conventional means. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. You know. And so in the eyes of those people, EFT, I being the founder, fail. Okay. So that's all these different definitions of it. some hooray, hooray, that's success and then, and then failure. But what we need to get beyond is the fact that it's okay to fail and everyone does it. And it's impossible not to, if you're trying to please everyone. Now, what happens often in this arena is the criteria, the setting of the bar for what is success or failure um, comes oftentimes from a culture, a given culture, and more often a family, a family who's also plugged into a culture. Uh, parents, for example, you've got to do it this way, or if you don't, you're going to get criticized. And oftentimes the parents are saying that don't want you, the child, criticized because that's going to reflect on them and then they're going to feel bad. They're going to feel like a failure, okay? <laughs> so, so you want to get beyond that. You want to get beyond that. Now, there's a way to do that with EFT. There's a way to do it efficiently and get freedom from that feeling of failure, which can weigh so heavily on us. Oh, I'm bad. There's something wrong with me. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not good enough and, and all of this. And in EFT land, we call that specific events. Now, you know, below this video, you're going to see some essential links. You know, there's a link to, a, to the, my latest advancement, the Unseen Therapist book, for example. There's advanced training if you want to if you want to go that direction, there's a free newsletter with support in it and all of that. Okay. So you can learn how to do it, but I'm going to give you some highlights here. So we go back in time where this feeling of failure may have come from. And I'm going to make something up just to give you the, the idea of it. A father, for example, says, you, know, you, you you do some behavior, whatever it may be. And the father says, oh, you, you can't do that. You didn't do that right. You failed. I mean, you're, you're worthless. What's wrong with you? Or worse to that effect. Maybe it's more subtle. Maybe you just get ignored. 
But whatever, you get the message that, oh, I need my father's, mother's, or what my family's love. And they're telling me now, oh, you've got to achieve in a certain way or you fail. The, the young child starts to pick that up as I'm not lovable or I'm not good enough or I don't count or I'm defective or something like that. Oh, yeah, not good, not good. And it's a heavy weight to take on. And the child is just doesn't have the ability, the maturity to even debate these topics. They just they just take it on. So we can go back there to when, the, in my example, the father says this. And we can then use unseen therapists, which is our latest advancement, to take a look at the emotional charge of that event that happened, you know, when you were four or six or some earlier age. And take care of that so that you just go, oh, yes, it happened. And yeah, it was no fun at the time. But now I look at it and go, well, okay, that was just my father. That was his view, not mine. His, not mine. Right? Um, and so there becomes freedom in that. And then we go to another specific event. Oh, the mother said this, the brother did that, the whatever, and you interpret, oh, I failed, I failed, I failed, I failed. Do another specific event. Each time you do, there's a little more freedom in there. Oh, and after a while, you do 5, 10, 15, 20 of those really well and really thoroughly. All of these specific events that contribute to the I'm a failure type thing start to fade. Now, we started this, this off with talking about how to avoid failure. We're not really going to avoid a failure because it's actually unavoidable. You will fail in the eyes of some people. Nobody that plays basketball makes every shot. <laughs> Nobody that plays golf hits every shot perfectly. I don't care how good you are. Nobody does everything perfectly. You fail, you fail, you fail, you fail, and you succeed, succeed, succeed. But avoiding failure is more like Let's avoid the feeling of failure. That's saying it more accurately. Avoid the feeling. Therein lies the freedom. Okay, so I would urge you to, to, go, to go farther than this video. i just given you a, a peek at what's possible. So hope that helps. I'll see you next time.